Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nachreiner. Today's story is iCloud extortion. Now, before I dive into the story, do know it falls solidly into rumor status. It actually comes from claims from hackers who are notoriously untrustworthy and just the input from journalists. The people really involved with the story have not commented on it. That said, it's been picked up by enough media and could be a big enough deal that I thought it was worth mentioning. Today, a motherboard released a scoop story where they claim a term Turkish-based hacking group says that they have gained access to anywhere between 200 million to 500 million iCloud accounts and that they're currently extorting Apple to give them anywhere from $75,000 to $100,000 worth of cryptocurrency or iTunes gift cards or on April 7th of this year they're going to reset all those iCloud accounts which of course could erase the data of a lot of iApple users if true. Now I'm reporting on this story Story because it could be a big deal if it's true but you got to realize you definitely need to take this story with a grain of salt motherboard got this information based on direct emails from these alleged hackers the hackers themselves only shared very basic evidence they basically shared some uh, screenshots showing allegedly a number of iCloud accounts they have access to they also released a YouTube video which hasn't been posted publicly that basically shows uh, these alleged hackers logging into one grandma's account and, and accessing her photos. So the truth is they may not have access to all these uh, iCloud accounts as they claim. Also there's some discrepancy in this own group's details about how many accounts they have access to. Some members of the group have said 200 million, others have said 559 million. So it, all the facts don't really line up. Anyways, long story short, you got to realize that this could just be a social engineering technique being used by the hacker. Now one thing that does make it a little more concerning, I haven't talked about this in a daily video post, but there has been a recent uh, celebrity photo leak that has happened again over the past few weeks. Uh, you might remember the old uh, celebrity uh, inappropriate image leak that happened a long time ago. Now no one knows for sure how the different people involved with that leak got a hold of all the different photos, but in many cases the way they do get uh, access to these private photos from your phone aren't by hacking the phone itself, rather the attackers gain credential access to one of your cloud accounts that's associated with the backup of the phone. So long story short, some of these photos may come from when hackers get access to say your Apple iCloud account. Anyways, the fact that this second image leak happened only a, a few weeks ago kind of leads some credence to this particular story. Maybe a hacking group has gained a lot of access to iCloud accounts. Now the flip side of that, it's probably good timing to socially engineer people about a non-existent an iCloud hack just because they have this recent story in their memory. Anyways, long story short, uh, media articles are picking this up, but you do have to realize there's not a lot of evidence to support whether or not this is true or not. Now that said, the reason I felt it might be worthwhile to talk to you about, despite the fact that it could be a rumor, is if this April 7th date is true, maybe there's something you can do to protect your account. Uh, one thing, by the way, is two-factor authentication. Apple ID does allow you to use two-factor authentication. If hackers did gain access to a big number number of iCloud accounts, but not all of them, chances are it's, it's via uh, password leaks that have shared credentials for all these accounts. So if you add two-factor authentication, even if they have your password, you may protect your iCloud account. Now another thing you can do is just make it offline back of, of your data. Whatever you have in your iCloud account, you can definitely uh, store locally as well on the device, download it, put it on a backup, whatever. So anyways, right now I'm kind of leaning towards this just being a social engineering extortion technique that perhaps these attackers don't have access to all these iCloud accounts. That said, if you haven't yet turned on Apple's two-factor authentication, or you haven't taken the time to also back up some of your cloud data locally, this could be a good time to do that just as far as best practices are concerned. In any case, if Apple responds or we hear updates to this story, we'll definitely either update the blog post or do another video. It's definitely an interesting rumor, but realize it is still a rumor. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.